For this demonstration, we have two rear-wheel drive vehicles. The white Ford is equipped with all-season tires on all four wheels. The gold Mercedes has four winter tires installed. Let's see how they compare. In our braking demonstration, the two cars approach at the same speed, side by side. When they reach a predetermined point, both drivers brake hard to activate the ABS. The all-season equipped white Ford finally stops after the marker, while the gold Mercedes with winter tires easily stops before the mark. In the cornering demonstration, the two vehicles approach a snow-covered curve at the same speed. The leading car, with four winter tires, safely negotiates the curve. The following car begins to slide, loses control, and spins completely around. And in case you're thinking that it's the car that makes the difference, let's switch the tires around and try again. This time, the gold Mercedes has four all-season tires. White Ford has four winter tires. The Mercedes has so little traction it can barely get up to speed for the braking test and then stops well after the marker while the white Ford easily stops in time. In the cornering demonstration, the all-season equipped Mercedes slides to the outside of the corner and bogs down in the deeper snow. We try again and this time the rear end loses grip and spins around. Unpredictability is the rule. The white Ford, now with winter tires, has no trouble negotiating the curve. Okay, but why do I need four winter tires? Wouldn't two be enough? On the Mercedes, we install a pair of winter tires on the rear wheels, but keep the all-season tires on the front. We leave the four winter tires on the Ford. Let's see how they compare in the braking demonstration. The Mercedes doesn't do much better than with four all-season tires, and still takes much longer to stop than the Ford equipped with the four winters. In the cornering demonstration, the driver has the steering wheel turned to the left. The Mercedes just won't turn. Despite electronic stability control, there's simply not enough grip on the front with the all-season tires. Winter tires on all wheels is the best setup for winter driving conditions.